I'm Ronnie. I am uh, almost 50 years old. I was born in the Philippines. I came here um, in 1999, so close to 22 years now. Uh, I'm a gay man. Uh, my pronouns are he and his. Yeah. Now that I'm married, I don't actually experience racism. Uh, it was more when I was dating, when I was socializing, trying to... Uh, well, I came out late, like, you know, when I was in, a, in my 30s and being in a country, a different culture, uh, I wasn't even aware of what a gay culture was. Uh, so I experienced that mostly in the scene, maybe when there is a, an event, trying to mingle with other gay men, but it is obvious that even though uh, there is no, sometimes there is no obvious, we don't want you here, uh, you're excluded. But also online, I, I did a lot because I'm shy naturally. <laughs> I did a lot of online um, dating and even there actually it's more prevalent. It was there, like it's right at the front of you. No gams, that's called gay Asian male. For someone who's just trying to, uh, you know, f you know, be friends or find find a social circuit, but also to find love, uh, you know, firstly that's confronting and um, uh, offensive, obviously. Uh, but then I realized it could just be the lack of knowledge about other cultures and uh, sensitivity, maybe. You know, we all have our own preference, you know, attraction, uh, yeah, but the people who put that up, um, they don't know what a gay Asian person is just trying to come out or already experiencing a lot of uh, hatred or just rejections, how it could feel. How do you think the gay world could be better? Uh, definitely, I think, uh, just educating themselves about other cultures. I think it's um, a lot better now with, uh, you know, with maybe social media. It could be maybe a lot better or sometimes a lot worse. Could be <laughs> go both ways. Being more sympathetic towards other people's um, uh, struggles. Yeah. Maybe not, not having to actually um, making someone's uh, struggle even worse. Yeah.